Hi, this is Joe Vargas from Behind the Badge. There's probably no more hot topic issue in law enforcement right now than that of racial profiling. Across the country, police departments, through training policies and procedures, are trying to deal with this issue, and also going out of their way to work with local community leaders and developing trust and also perceptions of racial profiling and deal with that as well. In the last month, however, there's been four incidents with videos that have gone viral across the internet. In each of these cases, people of influence with the community made allegations of racial profiling. The department heads of each of these agencies went out of their way to release the body cam footage to really, you know, take the wind out of the sails of these allegations. In each of these cases, the officers appear to be behaving professionally. Uh, they're not abusive. Uh, they're not, there's no use of force involved. Uh, they're really just trying to do their job. So I'm going to show you clips from four of these videos, one right after the other. The first is from the city of Baltimore, where the chairman of the police oversight committee uh, gets pulled over and then refuses to sign a ticket, says they don't have a right to be giving him a ticket. And after more than 60 requests to sign a ticket, he inevitably do he, he goes out, he does sign the ticket. But it takes almost an hour and a supervisor responding. The officer can be heard later on on the body cam footage that was later released saying, I'm, thank God I had this body camera with me. In the city of McKinney, Texas, a city councilman who also happens to be a political activist gets pulled over and once again feels that he was pulled over simply because, you know, he, he was uh, African American and uh, argues with the officer about his right to give him a ticket and uh, tries to use his position in order to get out of it as well. He later does news interviews uh, alleging that he was racially profiled. The chief of McKinney, between a rock and a hard place, makes the decision to release the video. Watch it, you be the judge. All I see is an officer who's dealing with a very stubborn driver who doesn't want a ticket. The third video is from the city of Timminsville, South Carolina, where the head of the NAACP gets pulled over late at night at driving through the neighborhood. Um, it's a cordial contact in the video that is released. There's no abuse. There's actually no problem really whatsoever. That gentleman later goes on to social media and goes on a full rant about how he was mistreated and he was, uh, he was profiled. So the chief goes out of his way to once again look at the video, doesn't see anything that was made in the allegations. So, you know, he releases the video. You have to. You know, what choice do you have at that point? Uh, the gentleman who posted the video takes us down and not too much heard from him since. Now the last video is from the city of Rialto here in California where the granddaughter of Bob Marley goes and uses an Airbnb with some friends while they're at a festival. They are leaving when a neighbor sees them. Unbeknownst to them, the owner of the Airbnb had never notified the neighbors that they were going to be renting the place out. Not known to the area, people with the, what she believes is behaving suspiciously, they get called. The cops get there, believing there is a burglary in progress. They immediately determine that this can't be a burglary in progress. Even by their response, it's low-key, it's cordial conversation. You know, They just talk to everybody involved, and within 20 minutes, everybody goes. She later goes on a social media rant and has contacted attorneys and threatening to file lawsuits against the city of Rialto. Personally, I've looked at the video. I think the officers were polite, professional, just responding to a call for service. Uh, you know, I don't know what more they want, but look at the videos. You be the judge. License and registration. Uh, stop uh, raising your voice. Uh, license and registration. Huh? License well, we and registration. Because he stopped me for letting my car license out. License and registration. Or what? I or you will you be subject to arrest. Well, I don't need I you to let me. I don't need you to let so me, why sir. You done it? Because I think that you're letting your emotion get the better no of you, emotion. sir. And what you, fail to realize, what you fail to realize, what you fail to realize is, sir. At the jail, Mr. Wilkerson, I'm going to ask you one more time. That's the law that I have to sign that? That's the McKinney City law? Well, I'm probably sir. I'm not gonna tell you again. Step out of the vehicle. You're not gonna tell me again. I'm not gonna tell you again. Mr. Wilkerson, you are making a, a really bad decision here. Step out the car. Mr. Wilkerson, you are making a real don't touch me. Turn around, put your hand behind your back. Don't touch me. Put your hand behind your back.
the registration. Try not to drive the car no more until you get the proper documentation because this regist uh, registration has to come back to a 1992, okay, GMC truck. And it's yeah. even in the system as that too. But what I'm saying, you got to have the proper registration and everything and insurance and all that stuff to actually indicate that that plate comes back to this motor vehicle, okay? Because when I run the plate, it's still coming back to this. It's not coming back to your car. Okay, I understand that, but look. Yeah. <laughs> We're going home no, to Toronto. Toronto? Yeah. You're from Toronto? Yeah. Let me show you. I, what, let me show where you. in Toronto are you let from? Let me put it into context. We're from this festival, Kaya Fest, yeah. the Bob Marley yeah. Festival. And I'm Bob Marley. You're talking to God, Hi, God, Bob Marley's Marley's granddaughter. granddaughter. Awesome. Can I get your Marley <laughs> identification? Oh, all of it. Awesome. <laughs> Just Google me. Right Good. Now. GTS. Okay, now you've seen the videos. Um, I don't see what's alleged in any of those. I just see officers maybe a little bit frustrated from having to deal with, you know, irate motorists, which is something happens quite frequently. What I do see is people of influence who have gone out of their way for whatever agenda, I don't know, and I'm not even going to try to figure out what they're in their minds and what they're thinking. But it doesn't do any service to law enforcement and it doesn't do any service to the real issues related to racial profiling. You shouldn't be going out there crying wolf, especially when police officers have body cameras that can really set the facts straight. And I applaud the agencies that went out of the way to release these videos. We don't need it, and we shouldn't have to deal with stuff like accusations like this.